as business owners are planning and thinking about this, right? Whether they're doing it on their own or they have like a, a CIO or a CISO or you know, virtual CIO. And I know you kind of function in this sort of virtual CISO, virtual CIO for people. Yep. You know, all this is also a function of sort of what the infrastructure looks like. Cause you can just choose to get maybe not that cyber or not that resilience piece and just adjust your infrastructure. Yes. Right? Which I know like the golden sort of idea is like just have ephemeral infrastructure that you don't yeah. care if you get nuked, you know, you just write, you click a button, code re-executes and it shows yeah. up again. That would be the ideal. The ideal. Just, yeah. just, I think that's something to think about, you know, as we've cleaned up, Arium has spent, you know, thousands and thousands of hours on the front lines. Could you outline what kind of environments and setups do you feel like are typically less resilient? And then what are more results? So like, can you give us that continuum of sort of what we've seen? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the more you have in SaaS applications, uh, the more, the less that you have to worry about recovering uh, internally. So, uh, you know, that introduces another layer of risk is, you know, are the SaaS applications really protected? Are they going to bounce back if they get ransomware? That's another question. But, uh, you know, as far as you standing back up, the less infrastructure you're actually managing yourself, the better. Um, right, so by SaaS, you mean it's hosted in the cloud, right? Yes, yeah. So you're using Salesforce, uh, you know, QuickBooks Dropbox, Online. QuickBooks yeah. Online versus QuickBooks hosted on a server. Yep. Your warehouse management is in the cloud via a browser, right? Yep. Versus being in your building or whatever. Yep. So moving stuff typically from on-prem or in a physical place, whether it's a data center or a co-location that you are responsible for managing and updating yep. is less resilient typically, you know, than let's say something that is very centralized in a SaaS type setup. Okay, gotcha. Yep. And the infrastructure that's kind of in that in-between state that is really a VM that you have that's living in the cloud but it's still really just a computer. It's just living somewhere else and not in your in your closet that, anymore. Somewhere else is AWS, <laughs> exactly. Azure. Because the cloud is really just, you know, warehouses in Northern Virginia. <laughs> exactly. Um, 